Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a very different kind of video. I actually got this video inspiration from Amanda Ensing. I will absolutely leave all of her channel links down below and all of her information just because this is where I got um, the video idea from. So I just feel like it's important to let everyone know that I'm not fake. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into this video. Today I'm going to be mixing 20 different foundations together. Amanda did do this before so I just thought it was really cool and interesting and I just wanted to mix my foundations together because we have different foundations. Of course I will leave all the foundation names and shades down below if you guys are curious at all. So we're going to be taking a wine glass and we're going to be mixing in a wine glass because why not? <laughs> this is honestly the only clear like container that I had like this so we're going to use a wine glass okay. The first foundation is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. I'm just going to do one pump of each because 20 foundations is a lot. That's a lot. Next is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Next I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. This is so thick and some of these foundation shades are completely off so I feel like this shade that this is going to come up with is going to be really dark so it's okay. I got a lot of these foundations during the summer and I was a lot more tan then so it's okay though. This is so thick. I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation next. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Next is the YSL All Hours Foundation. This one is also super full coverage, like insanely full coverage. So next is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm going to pour some of this in because this one has a spatula. Next is the Dior Forever Skin Foundation. This is the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. Next up is the Too Faced Born This Way. I know mine's ruined. I dropped it when I was traveling. So this is halfway. This is only 10 foundations right here. So next up is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. This is the Koki Skin Perfect HD Foundation. Oh my goodness. That shade is like red. Oh my god. It's actually red. This is the Flower Beauty BB Cream. This is pretty much like a foundation because it's so full coverage. Ew. Ew. That one was really thick. Next up is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This one is also super full coverage. And this one's a little heavy on the skin, so that's why I don't really use this one a lot because you can actually feel it on your skin when you're wearing it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Next is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. Up next is the Too Feast, Too Feast. Up next is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. This is a really, really dark color. So I'm happy that Squirter didn't squirt out a ton because that is a really, really dark color. And then an oldie but a goodie, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. And then last but certainly not least, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Okay guys, so this is what all of the foundations look like. That is crazy to look at. Um, the only one that's not really mixing in is the Flower Beauty BB Cream. You can see it just sliding around. Yum. It's crazy. Look at the bottom. There's so many shades. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to prep my skin really quick. I'm going in with the Smashbox Primer Water and then the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. Holy crap, I almost said foundation. I'm so used to saying foundation today. Alright, we are all prepped and primed. 
So again, this is what the foundation shade looks like. It looks a little on the yellow side and a little too dark, but we'll make it work, not too worried. So I'm just taking my Real Technique sponge, gonna dip in. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. I wonder if this is gonna be like super, super full coverage, just because there were so many foundations that were so full coverage in that mix. So the smell smells really good. I feel like it smells exactly like the YSL All Hours foundation. I'm not sure why that's like overpowering over all the foundations that we mixed together. So this is what the 20 foundations look like on my skin all together. So first off, it's a very lightweight. Like it feels like nothing is on my skin, which that's really surprising because there were some thick foundations in that bunch. And the smell again smells exactly like the YSL All Hours foundations. Um, the color is really not that bad. It's a little dark and it's a little too yellow, but we can work with it. We can work with it. It's nothing too horrible. I thought it was going to be extremely dark and I was just going to be like, holy moly. All right, so I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup off camera just because it will go a little faster and I have tons of videos to record today. And I will be back to let you guys know how it looks and how it turned out. Okay love, so this is the completed look. This is the look I came up with and honestly the foundation looks so good. Like do you agree? Do you think it looks fabulous? Do you think it looks a little different? I think it looks really good. I think it honestly just looks like a regular foundation. So let me know down below. Do you think it looks like extra good or do you think it just looks like a normal foundation? Um, are you going to try this at home? Because I feel like everyone should try it out. Even if you don't have 20 foundations. I don't expect you to have 20 foundations. But even if you have like 10 foundations, it's still a lot of foundations to mix together. And to just see how it comes out. I think it would be fun to try it out. I just think my skin looks really smooth, it looks really matte, and it doesn't really emphasize texture too much. Like right here I have a lot of texture right on my cheeks and I don't feel like it emphasizes it more than other foundations do. So I give this two thumbs up. I think this was really fun to test out and it was a really fun video to record because I haven't done this. Let me know what you guys want me to record next. I am looking for some new ideas to put up on my channel. I did start vlogging recently so you will see vlogs very soon soon. I know I'm very excited. I hope you guys are too. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you thought it came out really well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye loves!